yes, I mean, I'm here to, to support safer streets. There's low-hanging fruit in getting rid of uh, dangerous drivers, recidivist drivers. Uh, we have to raise the penalties for driving with a suspended license so that people think twice before they get into a, a death machine and risk people's lives. And I think there should be presumptive uh, guilt for people's vehicles who are caught uh, speeding on camera and otherwise, and let them prove that it wasn't them. Whatever we're doing today really doesn't make change today. It makes change for our tomorrow. It makes change for our kids. And in a lot of ways, if our streets are this unsafe, we're failing the future generation. Traffic calming, uh, enforcement. Um, bike lanes, just des streets designed for slower speeds. And we have examples around the world for Better that. bike lanes. Yeah, better bike lanes, better Wider infrastructure sidewalks. for people walking. Mm -hmm just better ramps for people actually pushing strollers, which in a lot, you know, cities around the world, you see that that has been ignored. So just basic amenities so that people from the ages of two to the ages of 85 can get around safely. And stop prioritizing driving. Driving yes. is really, just doesn't make sense. The city's growing. Motor vehicles are, are dinosaurs. It's time yeah. to really restrict their usage. Yeah, we're geographically constrained that we can't accommodate everybody in cars, but we can very easily and safely accommodate people on bicycles and walking and public transit. So why why don't we prioritize that? I'm voting for her. Was she running for office? <laughs>